Well, some sick Utahns are waiting hours to get a COVID test. Many of the sites are backed up. Some people have to travel to a neighboring county just to find an appointment. Michael Locklear asked health officials tonight if any relief is on the way. He joins us live from the Maverick Center. Many testing sites just cannot keep up. One mom told me tonight there's no way her sick kindergartner could wait in the car for hours. My son on Sunday couldn't breathe at all. Like he was gasping for breath. A scary situation in Lehigh for Brittany Monson and her son Solomon. We were wondering if it's COVID. I've had COVID and it was awful. It was very similar symptoms. Trying to get tested turned out to be a frustrating endeavor. Some of them had you email them. Some of them had you leave a message. Uh, none of them got back to me at the promised time. Brittany's family ended up driving to Thanksgiving Point only to find cars backed up onto the street. The line four times longer than she's ever seen it. So um, we knew it would take about two, two and a half hours. And with a small child, like that's just, that's like a road trip, but the car isn't going anywhere. Like that's really hard to keep a sick child in the car that long. Sometimes you're not able to get in for that same day testing. If you need same day testing for whatever reason, Sometimes you need to be willing to drive quite a distance. The Utah County Health Department says some of their residents are even driving up to Salt Lake County. Why not open more testing sites, get more people testing? Is that possible? Is that something in the works? So I can't really speak to that question. That really is something that is better posed to the state health department. So I asked state health officials. They told me we are trying to hire additional staff, but we are running into the same troubles as the rest of the healthcare industry. It is hard to find right now. Other factors include the Delta variant running rampant and school outbreaks requiring teams of testers. We have a number of different kind of things working kind of against us as a state, so to speak, and that we're trying to plan for ahead of time. Brittany ultimately found a pediatrician to do the test. A really big hassle just to try to be socially responsible. They're waiting on the results. And how's your son doing now? He actually kind of miraculously made a turn. He's doing quite a bit better.